This is All India Radio. Power of listening. Under this series, tonight we take you on a journey to the world of yet another magnificent facet of the traditional Indian knowledge systems. I am Manoj Mainkar. Water in Atharva Ved. In today's episode, we shall be focusing on the description of water in Atharva Ved as revealed by the Vedic seers. The expert on the show is Dr. Rajeshri Vijay Kshir Sagar, educationist, indologist and professor. Stay tuned. Happy Independence Day to the listeners of All India Radio. Yavat Chandra Surya Sagar Himavan Sthasyanti Bhutale Tavat He Bharat Mata Tishthatam Tavayashah O Bharat Mata, may your fame will remain up to this moon, sun, Himalaya and sea will be on the earth. Water is the main principle amongst the Panchatattva. It plays an important role in the life of living beings. A person cannot survive without water. It is the basic need of every living being. Such waters are described in the Vedic literature mainly in the Rugu Veda and in the Atharva Veda. In these two Vedas, waters are described in various ways. They are called as Devi, mothers and sisters. They have immortality and medicinal properties. Waters are prayed for the medicine. Savita and Agni are born from them. Their sap, rasa, is said to be very auspicious, Shivatama. In the Atharva Veda, waters are deified. It means waters are worshipped as a god and also we can observe the personification of them. Today, we are going to discuss different mythological aspects of the waters. Salila and Apa are the two Sanskrit synonyms of the water. In some hymns of the Atharva Veda have the description of water and their deity is water. These hymns are known as Apa Sukta. By the name we know that they are devoted to the waters. Salila is another word. It means water and according to the name, it seems that the hymns which are counted in this group have the description of waters or deity is water. These hymns are known as Salila Sukta and refer to the natural waters that flow down and also contain the description of waters as deities. Most of the hymns of both of these groups express different types of desires such as the desire for getting prosperity, for the appeasement of some evil elements or warding them off. In some hymns, we can observe the prayers for long life, for curing diseases and for warding off difficulties or durita. Some hymns of these groups state the purifying nature of the water. This purification may be of a body or of the soul, means it is inner or outer purification. Following these contents, these hymns are used in various rites, mainly for prosperity and betterment, svastyayana, as well as for peace or appeasement, shanti and in the medicinal rites. While studying these hymns, some interesting aspects of the waters are observed. Let me share some of these aspects. In one hymn, prayers are offered to the waters and they are described in various terms. They are called mothers and sisters of those 
हु परफॉर्म द सॅक्रिफाईस अंबय यंती अध्वभी जामय अध्वरीयता अंबय मीन्स मदर्स अँड जामय मीन्स सिस्टर्स अध्वरीयता मीन्स हु परफॉर्म द सॅक्रिफाईस द क्लोज रिलेशन ऑफ द वॉटर्स विथ द सॅक्रिफायसर इज क्लिअरली मेन्शन फ्रॉम द ऋग्वेदिक पिरियड वॉटर्स आर कॉल्ड मदर्स ॲडिशनली इन द अथर्व वेद अलॉंग विथ द मदर्स दे आर कॉल्ड सिस्टर्स ऑफ द पर्सन हु परफॉर्म्स द सॅक्रिफाईस हियर इन दिस हिम वी कॅन नोटीस द पर्सॉनिफिकेशन ऑफ द वॉटर्स वॉटर्स आर ॲड्रेस ॲज अ डेटी विथ द बिलीव दॅट दे हॅव इमॉर्टिलिटी अँड मेडिसिन अप्सु अंत अमृतम अप्सु भेष जम मीन्स दे हॅव इमॉर्टिलिटी अमृतम मीन्स इमॉर्टिलिटी अँड भेष जम मीन्स मेडिसिन अ विश इज एक्सप्रेस दॅट बाय प्रेझिंग द वॉटर्स द हॉर्सेस बिकम पॉवरफुल अँड द काउज बिकम रिच इन मिल्क अपाम उत प्रशस्तीभी अश्वाभवत वाजिन गावभवत वाजिनी अपाम उत प्रशस्तीभी मीन्स बाय प्रेझिंग द वॉटर्स अश्वा मीन्स हॉर्सेस बिकम पॉवरफुल वाजिन पॉवरफुल अँड काउज बिकम रिच इन मिल्क वॉटर्स आर सेट टू मिक्स स्वीटनेस इन द लिक्विड और इन द मिल्क मधु means sweetness means honey the seer sindhu dweep describes that they are near the sun or the sun is with them amuhu yaha upasurye va yabhihi sah surya ha amuhu yaha means these waters upasurye means near the sun or yabhihi sah means with them the sun is the sun is with them here surya means perhaps the surya or shining the seer desires that they proceed or push forward the sacrifice or may they give inspiration for the sacrificer for good deeds hindvantu advaram advaram means sacrifice hindvantu means push forward again waters are given the status of god they are said to be the place of happiness they are related to happiness and asked to establish for energy and vigor and for healthy long life apohishta mayo bhuvah taha naha urje dadhatana maheranaya chakshase apohishta mayo bhuvah means waters are the place of happiness they are requested naha urje dadhatana means ask to establish for energy and vision and for long healthy life means maheranaya chakshase here a desire for happiness is expressed indirectly as the waters are requested to enliven or to create again it is assumed that they have generative power perhaps this might have the relation to the concept of immortality in the waters expressed in the earlier hymn furthermore it is said that waters are thought to rule over the desirable things they are asked for medicine ईशा वार्याण क्षयती चर्षणी अपोयाचा भेषज मीन्स वॉटर्स आर द रूलर ऑफ द डिझायरेबल थिंग्स दिस कॅन बी सेड इन कनेक्शन विथ द एक्सप्रेशन दॅट द वॉटर्स आर द मास्टर्स ऑफ डिझायरेबल थिंग अँड द सपोर्टर ऑफ द बीन्स क्षयती चर्षणी and these waters are asked for medicine apo yachami bheshajam the rapidly flowing waters also are thought to have some purpose for haste 
and the seer wants to progress quickly like them. A different notion is expressed in connection with the waters. The natural waters get some anthropomorphic form, having some intention in the mind. The seer desires that the waters may flow to the people of the seer with wealth and health. Waters are called as Devi, which means that they are shining. This Devi word is derived from the root Diva to shine. These divine or shining waters are requested that may they become prosperous, Sham, and for drinking and fulfillment of the desires. Shanno Devi hi abhishtaye, Shanno bhavantu pitaye. Pitaye means for drinking and abhishtaye means for fulfillment of the desires. They are requested to flow in well beings towards the seer. Soma is the deity who knows and declares that all the medicines and willful fire are in the water. Here, the seer of this hymn provides indirectly the information about the existence of all medicines in the waters. Apsume Somo Abravita means Soma declares that all the medicines Antak Vishwani Bheshajani means all the medicines are in the water and Vishwa Shambhuvam Agnihi the fire willful fire are in the water. Waters are requested to fill the medicine Apa Pranita Bheshajam and to provide the covering or protection for the body of the seer and long life to see the sun. Jokcha Suryam Drushe Here Varutham Tanve means protection for the body of the seer and long life means Jokcha Suryam Drushe. The same hymn enlightened us about various types of the water. These waters are mentioned one by one and are prayed to become bountiful. They are namely the waters found in the desert, Dhanvani, in watery or marshy land, Anupya, and those obtained by digging, Khanitrima, collected in the pitcher, Kumbhe Abhruta, and coming in the form of rain, Varshiki. Thus, it can be said that the Atharvanic people were conversant with various types of the water. Waters are prayed to be favorable to the men and thus they are worshipped. We can notice some new notions about the waters. One hymn describes the waters. This is a praise of waters with a desire that they may become peace bringing, Sham and pleasant. The seer Shantati describes that waters have golden color, Hiranya Varnaha, they are clean, Shucha Yaha and purifying, Pavakaha, Hiranya Varnaha, Shucha Yaha, Pavakaha. He tells that Savitru and Agni are told to be born in the water, Yasu Jatah Savita, Yasu Agnihi. Savitru, the god Savita, who inspires the people Sarva Preraka Deva. From the description, it is the sun, and these shining waters bore Agni as the embryo, Garbha. The seer prays that may the waters be willful and pleasant for him. Their color is described as golden, Hiranya Varnaha and they are beautiful, Siona. Further, it is described that in the midst of the water, King Varuna goes looking down at the truth and falsehood of the main. Yasam Raja Varuno Yati Madhye Satyan Rute Avapashyan Jananam Yasam Raja Varuno Yati means King Varuna goes in the midst of the water. 
अवपश्यन सत्यानृते जनानाम मीन्स लुकिंग डाउन ऍट द ट्रुथ अँड फॉल्सहूड ऑफ द मेल सत्य ट्रुथ अनृत मीन्स फॉल्सहूड इट इज सेड दॅट गॉड्स मेड भक्ष ऑफ वॉटर व्हाईल दे आर इन द हेवन यासाम देवा हा दिवी कृणवंती भक्षम ऑल्सो इट इज डिस्क्राईब दॅट वॉटर्स बिकम मेनी इन द स्काय इट मीन्स वॉटर्स टेक सेव्हल फॉर्म्स इन द ॲटमॉस्फेअर या अंतरिक्षे बहुधा भवंती दॅट इज दे टर्न इन टू रेन ड्रॉप्स देअर व्हिजन इज डिस्क्राईब ॲज ऑस्पिशियस अँड देअर फॉर्म इज ऑल्सो ऑस्पिशियस शिवेन मा चक्षुषा पश्यत आप शिवया तन्वा उपस्पृशत त्वचम मे घृतश्युत शुचय या हा पावका हा ता हा न आप शमस्योना भवंतु देअर व्हिजन इज ऑस्पिशियस शिव मीन्स ऑस्पिशियस चक्षुष मीन्स व्हिजन शिवया तन्वा देअर बॉडी इज ऑल्सो ऑस्पिशियस अँड दे आर प्रेड टू लुक ॲट विथ धिस ऑस्पिशियस आय पावका हा इट कॅन बी सेड दॅट वॉटर्स कंटेन सम मॉश्चनिंग ऑर सॉफ्टनिंग फॅक्टर विच इज कॉल्ड घृत दस दे आर रिक्वेस्टेड टू टच द स्कीन उपस्पृश त्वच मे इन एव्हरी मंत्र ऑफ धिस हिम दे आर कॉल्ड ॲज पावका प्युरिफाईंग वन्स द युजुअल डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ वॉटर इज दॅट दे आर देवी ही दिस एपिथेट ऑफ देव is found in many hymns also it is always emphasized that they have medicine bheshajam we can notice different names of the waters and their etymology indra's deed of killing ahi is famous in the rigveda it is again referred to but from different perspective additionally one can notice that the waters made sound at that time at that time means while killing the ahi nada thus they got the name nadi this aspect of waters is never told before here in the atharva veda indra is described to have obtained the waters that skip together when they were sent forth by varuna varunena preshita means the waters were sent forth by varuna this is the new information about the waters and varuna it is interesting to note that waters are described to flow against the will as indra hindered them as if they did not like the interference of indra indra had to use his powers to control them this is also a new aspect in the mythology related to indra in the rigveda it is described that waters are released by indra and they have flown happily but here in this hymn of the atharva veda it is described that waters are flown against the will of indra it is altogether a contrast description in relation to the waters as found in the rigveda moreover it is also described that when they were flowing freely yathavasham means as their wish one god stood up in the stream and after that they got the name udaka uda means to come up this description is mysterious and when they were obstructed they stood and breathed they are described as bhadra and identified with gruta here the softness of waters is indicated they bring prana and splendor varchas waters bear agni and soma as they are apa at one place marus are described as the impellers of the water and they make the waters reach in payasa they send the rain the auspiciousness and softness of the waters 
are described here as well the waters are described with new epithets such as apas means active and sasrushi means flowing which indicates their continuous flow they are flowing day and night diva day and night nakta they are called devi hi or shining the notable point is that though the seers are different these aspects means immortality medicinal property devi are described in almost of all the hymns of the atharva veda an additional epithet is used for the waters which ota this indicates the connectedness of the water like many mantras the waters are described along with the medicinal herbs and they are prayed to be auspicious shiva and are requested to become propitious sham waters have medicinal qualities and this concept is emphasized again in this hymn the seer describes that waters flow from the mountain possessing snow and come together in the reservoir of the waters himavatah prasavanti himavatah means the mountain possessing snow by the description it is a himalay the seer asked to the shining waters to bestow on him that famous medicine which is for heartburn rudyota bheshajam the seer believes that water flowing from the himavat mountain has the medicine thus he asked that medicine which is useful for heartburn further the seer prays that the waters may drive away completely whatever is burning that is trouble to his eyes yatme akshnyo adidyo to his four feet prapad and to his heels parshnyo as they are the best and greatest of physicians bishajam su bishaktama the seer believes that waters can remove the burning or disease of the eyes and heels that is legs in the rugveda the epithet bishajam su bishaktama is used for rudra and notable point is that in the atharva veda this epithet is used only for waters here the medicinal property of the waters is again highlighted flowing waters have sindhu as their master sindhu patni sindhu ragni sarvaha yaha nadyah they are called as sindhu patni and sindhu ragni waters are described as mothers as it is described many times apo asman matar they purify men by means of gruta hence they are called as grutapu and are prayed for it they flow away all the physical dirt of human beings apo asman matar sudayantu grutain nah grutapuh punantu vishvam hi ripram pravahanti devi hi vishvam hi ripram means they flow away all the dirt of human beings the practical aspect of the waters is clearly seen the seer wishes that powerful and quick going essence or rasa of these waters mixed with sweetness comes to him with breath and splendor waters are related to sweetness as they are prayed to send what they possess in the atharva veda waters are called as mothers they are deified we can notice the similar concept in various texts of avesta such as yasna yast bispardat gathas and miscellaneous fragments in the yasna waters are worshiped and called as apo devata and goddesses related to ahur majda these waters are known as noble ladies of ahura 
कुलीन स्त्रीय एंड आर कॉल्ड एज वुमन पॉवर ऑफ और मजदा स्त्री रूपी शक्ति फर्दर इट इज सेड दैट दे हैव जूसेस रसमयी दे आर शाइनिंग फ्लोइंग कंटिन्युअसली एंड परफॉर्म गुड डीड्स दे आर कॉल्ड एज अहुरानी अहुर मजदा गिव्स एडिशनल नेम्स टू द वॉटर्स दे आर मातर आपहु धेनु अग्न्या अग्न्या मीन्स द सैक्रेड काउ विच इज नॉट टू बी किल्ड फर्दर इट इज सेड दैट वॉटर्स नरिश पुअर पीपल एंड आर सेड टू बी ग्रेट एंड वशिष्ठा श्रेष्ठा जी तयो मातर अफेक्शनेट इन द हिम्स ऑफ द अथर्व वेद डिफरंट आस्पेक्ट ऑफ द वॉटर्स आर डिस्क्राइब वॉटर्स हैव मेडिसिनल वैल्यूज दे आर इमोटल दे आर फॉर्म ऑफ गॉड एज दे आर प्योर एंड क्लीन फ्रॉम दिस डिस्क्रिप्शन दीज हिम्स आर रिसाइटेड इन मेनी सेक्रिफिशियल एंड डोमेस्टिक रिचुअल्स विच आर कैरिड आउट बाय मीन्स ऑफ वॉटर्स सच एज आचमन आचमन मीन्स सिपिंग द वॉटर फॉर इनर प्यूरिफिकेशन स्प्रिंकलिंग प्रोक्षण फॉर आउटर प्यूरिफिकेशन संपात कर्म पोरिंग द वॉटर ऑन सर्टन थिंग्स मार्जन मीन्स टू वाइप ऑफ नाउ व डेज वी कैन फाइंड सम हिम्स लाइक आपो हिष्ठा मयो भुव शन्नो देवी ही हिरण्य वर्णा शुचय पावका आर एम्प्लॉयड इन द रिचुअल्स इन रिलेशन टू द मैन्स लाइफ ऑल्सो दीज हिम्स आर एम्प्लॉयड इन द वास्तुशांत हाउस वॉर्मिंग सेरेमनी उपनयन विवाह एंड इन मेनी शांतिज रिलेटेड टू द कॉन्स्टोलेशन ग्रह नक्षत्र शांति इन द रिचुअल्स वाइल प्लेसिंग द आइडॉल्स ऑफ द गॉड्स इन द टेम्पल्स देव प्रतिष्ठापना एंड सो मेनी रिचुअल्स विच आर कैरिड आउट विथ वॉटर दस इट कैन बी सेड दैट वॉटर प्लेज एन इम्पॉर्टंट रोल इन मैन्स लाइफ एज वेल एज इन द रिचुअल्स विच इज गोइंग टू परफॉर्म इन हिज लाइफ As we have seen, these waters are heavenly. They are called as Devi. They have immortality, medicinal property. But today, what is the situation of the water? Almost all the rivers are polluted. In the Rig Veda, in one of the hymns, it is described that once the seer Vishwamitra reached on the confluence of river Bias, Shatudri. satlaj the flow was very high and the seer was unable to cross the river at that time he invoked the waters as mother mata and requested them to give the path for crossing the river at that time he gave promise to the rivers that his ascendants will not make the waters dirty now it is left to us do we the ascendants of vishwamitra keep the promise we all know the answer of this question let us all take oath that we will try to keep the waters less polluted for the well being of mankind and try to keep the promise given by the seer vishwamitra to the rivers water in atharva ved You heard the 46th episode of our all new series on traditional Indian knowledge systems power of listening. The expert on the show was Dr. Rajeshri Vijay Kshir Sagar, educationist, indologist and professor. We hope you enjoyed it. This program was produced by Vinayak T Mori and Vinod Kumar. Special thanks to AIR Pune and Randhir Thakur for their contributions. This episode is also available on our official YouTube channel Akashvani AIR. Be there on the 19th of August same time same frequencies. This is Manoj Mainkar signing off from Delhi. Wish you a very happy Independence Day.